Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this one, obviously, we're looking at the top meme tokens by market cap. We're going to talk about one in particular that I've talked about here before on the channel that I think really has staying power for a couple different reasons. And they're playing the long game here. We see a lot of meme coins come to prominence and then just quickly evaporate, right? In fact, most of the meme coins that we see out there do this, right? However, there are some that like to play the long game and eventually add utility to move from just a meme to a utility-based token. Well, one of the tokens right here in the top 10 of the top meme coins by market cap are doing just that. And it's not Doge, it's not SHIB, although they're obviously doing some things in that regard as well. It's not Pepe, it's not Floki, same thing. Baby Doge, no. Bone, no. Dogelon, no. Volt, we know that they're doing some big things. Rich Quack, but this one right here. And it's kind of a sleeper, Suka. I've talked about him before on the channel. Now, they've pulled back here another 22%, but they recently went all the way to five and a half cents. You can see that on the chart right there. A couple big green candle days, and they're kind of trying to find their consolidation. But this is the overall chart, okay? We're coming up on one year, the one-year anniversary for Suka. Now, imagine launching in May of last year with the Terra Luna situation happening and then the FTX debacle getting ready to come. All throughout that entire last year and after the FTX debacle, Suka was a place of grace. It was a place to go to get out of all the negativity. And you saw that last year. And just recently in February of this year, they had another run-up that tested their all-time high that they set back in September. And overall, it's a really strong chart. You could see kind of how it's stepped up and obviously pulled back, but always, always, always continues to have solid volume, continues to have a strong community, and continues to have upside potential. Well, now they're adding something else another layer if you will and again this is the layer that brings you away from meme coin into utility based token territory so here's their recent medium article and by the way for what it's worth bitboy is buying suka he's talking about them as a meme coin with staying power uh, so this is getting at their new idea that they want to present and it's relatively new in the crypto space so they're calling it Uru Loki and they go through how Suka was born out of hard lessons in the crypto market we've all faced those 2023 is a different market however but still faces many of the same glass ceilings and it says here Uru Loki is the first of its kind home base for the Suka Sangha a dApp built by some of the earliest and most steadfast community members, not outsiders looking to take advantage. So this is a dApp going to be built by community members for the community. The name Uriloki is derived from Ryoshi's own Suka website, a name that means fire serpent. The first goal of Uriloki is to solve the issue with current centralized and decentralized exchanges. Since its inception, many have asked when utility will exist with Suka. Developing utility, a fair launch, low supply token driven by community, has meant painstaking conversations on how to protect the core principles. Suka is simple, pure, and anything built on it must be done so without malice or greed. And so the vital step in Season 2 is creating the Euroloki Exchange, a Suka-powered DEX engineered directly by some of the most visible members. You may be thinking an exchange, that's it. But before you roll your eyes over, read on as to why ours is unique, needed, and cutting edge. See, this is a different kind of deck, something that's never been done before. Uriloki is a community-built dApp, as we mentioned, that improves decentralized exchanges. It allows limit orders, active liquidity provision, and opens up new trading strategies. Their unique pool dynamics are MEV-resistant fundamentally shifting the ability for bad actors to hurt price action. We've seen what MevBots have done to many of these great projects. Your Loki makes Suka a liquidity black hole with collected fees used to buy Suka, reduce supply, and add liquidity. 
Any project can create a Suka pair and raise volume, pushing them up on our leaderboards, increasing their visibility. In turn, this squeezes the token supply even further. Dramatic supply crunch leads to dramatic liquidity growth, which leads to thick price support, encouraging more pair creation. Iroloki creates a feedback loop that drives Suka value to new heights. The first product, again, will be an entirely on-chain exchange where all trading fees, aside from low overhead costs for site maintenance, return to Suka liquidity. This means we have the opportunity to drive the supply of Suka lower, creating further scarcity, which we know creates further demand and further price action. Here you can relate, uh, here you can create limit orders that you want with any two tokens. The sky is the limit. Currently, DEXs do not allow you to place limit orders. Isn't that something we need? Some aggregators allow you to place them, but you cannot see where the orders are actually placed. This, to me, is the most important utility out there. This is huge. Euroloki is going to allow you to do both. Allow limit orders and see where the orders are actually placed. Users can then set limit orders and the platform aggregates them into an order book. These are new approaches designed to solve problems by directly addressing liquidity and gamification in novel ways, avoiding the pitfalls of those before us. Instead of relying on a single bonding curve for buying and selling, the active liquidity provision model presents a new approach to on-chain liquidity that allows for personalized trading and market-making strategies. Many projects have wanted to partner with Suka and are left in the cold, realizing there's no team to partner with. Well, our native dApp is a way for projects to quote-unquote partner with the Suka community. List your token on your Loki, rise up the volume leaderboards, and you will certainly get the attention of the Suka community. Your Loki's first task is making Suka a black hole of liquidity. As fees are collected in ETH from trading on the DEX, a significant percent of the fees will automatically buy Suka and pair with the remaining balance on Uni V2. This is bullish for the price. Suka has a supply of 1 billion tokens. Imagine if the supply is shrunk to 500 million while liquidity runs through the roof. Supply squeeze has always been one of our strengths. With a shrinking supply and ever-growing liquidity, Suka will reach unimaginable heights. An exchange is only as useful to its token as the creators allow it to be. Your Loki contracts will be completely transparent, thoroughly vetted, and always work to serve the Songhai uh, Senga first. So that is what we've got for you. I encourage you to read on. There is still more in this Medium article, but this highlights some of the big things coming for Suka. This is bullish, bullish news. I love this community from day one that I saw them rise onto the scene last year. They've only been around uh, ne nearly a year now, and now they're rolling out some major utilities. This is going to be fun to watch. I'll drop all the Suka links down below in the description, guys. Make sure you check them out. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video.